when we get a walk-in, they'll come in and you ask if they have an appointment. If Ashley's on a mission. She's the blood drive coordinator with the Wiesbaden Red Cross. And her job is to get the community out to give blood. With donor apathy and lagging numbers, it won't be easy. However, Ashley's got an idea. We were looking for something that was a little bit more eye-catching, a little bit uh, more fun, and so we decided to do an 80s theme with 80s movies playing and uh, 80s dress, just to you know make it a little bit more interesting. When donors walked into the Dark Base Theater, they were greeted by volunteers in 80s garb and watched familiar movies on the screen while they waited. Ashley's taken every care to ensure the donation process is as stress-free as possible. The blood leaves here to go into the Armed Services Blood Program, a blood bank serving the entire military community. So while the blood given today will save countless lives, the Wiesbaden Red Cross still struggles to bring people in. A lot of times I think people either have a fear of needles and they're really, you know, worried about trying to give, or uh, I think that people get really busy with work and they don't want to, you know, give up time. They say, oh, I have too much to do. I don't have the time to spare to come down. The important question, did it work? The next day, Ashley was in her office going over the numbers. So we got 50 pints of blood um, and so that translates into 150 lives saved. So we were able to get more pints than we had at the previous two blood drives. Ashley's 80s themed blood donation day was a success. All she had to do was travel 30 years back in time to save military lives today. Well, that's good. Well, I'm glad that you came out and donated today. We have blood drives every two months here. In Wiesbaden, Germany, I'm Army Staff Sergeant Matthew Clenny.